everybody. Welcome back to Cooking with Brenda and David. Today I am going to make some stuffed mushrooms. I made these for David a couple of weeks ago and he loved them. So we figured we'd share it with the show. Why not? Right? They're very good. <laughs> he and I both really liked them, but I think I ate three and he ate the rest. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, there's some big ones in here. So anyway, I seen something that triggered this. And it had Parmesan in it or something. And I'm like, you know what? I'm just going to do something here. And I did it. And it turned out really well. So we're going to do it again. And I got a bunch of cheeses out here and some bacon bits and butter. So what I'm going to start with is I'm going to put a thing of butter into each one of these. Is that donuts? Huh? Look like donuts. What does? Uh, mushrooms. Are you kidding? <laughs> Donut holes. <laughs> now you didn't pick these mushrooms. You bought them. Yeah, of course I bought them. Yeah. I'm not raising mushrooms. I mean, I'm not. Yeah, I'm not raising mushrooms, David Hall. Well, I know, but they're out there. I just to make sure you didn't pick none of them. Oh, I didn't pick none of those kind. I don't know what's poison and what's not. I got a couple different sizes here. And what we don't use in this, we can use on this little tater I cooked this. Or we're going to have. Get them all but one. Okay. Now, we're going to put us a little block of cream cheese. I need my knife because I don't want them to be that big. I thought I cut them all right. Butter and cream cheese. Cream cheese. I think that chunk of butter in that one's too big. Come here, dude. Well, I don't know. It's a right big a mushroom there, isn't it? What kind of paper is that? That's parchment paper. Parchment paper. Okay. Now you're getting me confused, David Hall. It don't take much, I know, but still. I've had a hard time this week. So anyhow, I'm back to halfway normal. I don't know. It's just the thing keeps cutting on and off for some reason. I know, that's why I'm wondering what's wrong. I don't know, it's always something. I know it is. Can I put some down in there? As long as I got some of them, I see one that don't have none. Butter and cheese. I got cream cheese and butter down in there. Well, this looks pretty well easy to make. It's easy to make. It's just time consuming. You know, I took all the, cleaned them real good, and I put them back in the refrigerator to dry, because mushrooms are somewhat like a sponge, and they'll absorb. They oh, will so really they, absorb that water, so I done them, and I... They didn't come like this all with the... You had to take stuff out of them? Or? No, I took the stems out, and I cut, sliced them up, because they're really big. So it was like cleaning fish, you had to... Yeah, and so I put... The stems in the freezer for a later date. All washed and cleaned and all that stuff. So oh, that's I, right. They have a, a, a thing coming out of them. That's right. I forgot yeah, about stem. that. So I've got four different cheeses in here. One of them's Parmesan. One of them's cheddar. One of them's mozzarella. And what's the other one? Provolone. <laughs> and you don't have to use all those if you don't want to. But this is how I put these together. And some of this I already had, so why not? And I just packed them full as I could get them. These things are so good. I'm going to tell you, we could almost make a meal out of just those. I think it's easy to bring it over here and do it. We bought this cheddar cheese at TJ's. What is, is that the name of it? We bought this cheddar cheese somewhere. I don't know. But that stuff, it doesn't melt too good. It's like plastic when it does. 
Well, is that what you're using? A little bit, but not much. I hope you don't use it because you'll ruin them. No, I had some more in there. I shredded up. Some of it's in here, though. And well, I'm like, they won't well, be... maybe they're tiny and there's not that much in there, so maybe it'll be all right, David. Uh, have faith, yeah, have yeah, faith. Yeah, yeah. It's going to turn out nasty because that old cheese you have is like trying to eat rubber bands. It tastes good. You've been eating it at your lunch and stuff. It's been good, hasn't it? It's good. It's not bad raw, but when you cook it, it turns good. into a rubber band. It did with that macaroni. Then I was why trying you, to make it wouldn't melt. Then it why you want to put it in there glob. for it? Just hush. How about that? The last ones you made are real good. These why ones, don't you just hush? These dry ones up. turn out like a rubber band thing or Daddy something. Daddy used to tell us, dry up right now, and you dry up. Well, Daddy say he'd take the belt and give us something to cry for. <laughs> Daddy did, too. I can give you a reason to cry. <laughs> Kids are not like when we, you know. Yeah, but I don't believe in all that, though. You don't believe in giving a, a, no. a licking or two? No. Well, David, did it kill us? We're better people than some. We turned out pretty good, don't you think? No, yeah, I know, but I, I still don't believe in it. I ain't never hit a kid, and I never now, will. Now, the recipe I seen, I believe, had breadcrumbs and all sorts of stuff. I'm not adding no breadcrumbs. And I don't know how much of each I got in here. I just figured if I had too much, we'd have it over spaghetti when I make it this weekend. And it looks like it might be a little bit. That'd be all right. I don't think it's going to turn out. Yes, it will. Have faith. You use that fake cheese. I think that's what that is. That's not real cheese. That old stuff you got from whatever you called it, Tim's or something. I don't know what you call it. But anyway, that's that stuff here. Now, it don't taste bad. It tastes by just itself. like the white cheddar. It tastes good. But when I put it in the macaroni, it just kept, kept clumping together. And I'm oh, like, what yeah. in the world? You had a bowl full of rubber bands. It was. just tastes like rubber plastic or something. I don't know. I could not get it. To I wish you wouldn't have put that in there. David, dry up. It's going to be okay. All Watch right. and see. All right. I'm watching and I'm going to see. You're going to see, all right. I don't even think it even tastes that good raw. I think it's good. Well, you ain't had no complaints while you've been eating it at lunch, have you? That's because I'm in such a hurry, I don't have to think about it. You just swallow it whole, don't you? Yeah. <clears throat> These really are good. Let's turn that oven on while we're talking. See, you, I don't need I'm going to put it on 350. You don't even let me think about what I'm doing here. There's not that much of it in here, David. You know, I've got Parmesan, mozzarella, provolone, all that's all cut up in here. You know, the provolone's in here too in, in chunks. So there's, you, you know, you think there's a lot when it isn't. Well, if it turns out bad, I'm going to say it. We'll say it. Well, that well, cheese is... no good, just say it. Say what you feel. The Say last what ones, you think. The last ones were delicious. Oh, they really were. But they didn't have fake cheese on them, or whatever that is. Well, from what I've seen, it said uh, uh, white cheddar. Exactly what it said, white cheddar. Well, I ain't never seen that stuff turn into rubber bands. And... I've had some that I've gotten at Kroger somewhere that is like that. Sometimes. I don't know. It just depends, I reckon. They have manufacturers for poor people, you know. <laughs> manufacturers, you know, of cheaper stuff. So you, you know just, what we are doing? What? Make some cheese. Well, why don't you? I used to make butter a long time ago. Well, why ain't you making the sun? It's probably a lot better than what they use. Yeah. I got real butter. I know, but I used to make it. Now, we go add a couple of bacon bits on the top. Didn't it have bacon bits, David? Huh? Yeah. And you think they're going to be bad. How can, this is real bacon bits, too. Ooh. Oh, what is that? A Hold bee? On a second. It's a honeybee. Don't kill it. I'm not going to kill it. Pick it up and get stung, why don't you? I'm not going to get stung here. Let me just pause well, it. I don't want to eat it. I'm going to put him outside. Hold on. Okay, I saved the honeybee's life. Hopefully, he can find his way back where he came from. You brought in wood. There's probably more on there. Well, at this time of the year, I've got some old semi 
rotted and whatever oak uh white oak so it was buried up in there in the woodshed so there might be more than honeybees in that wood that firewood it's not really been it's getting a little bit cool at nights so it's getting down to the 20s high 20s and early 30s so i thought we'd bring a couple sticks if in you can help it don't kill the honeybees and knock the chill off the side of the house and uh so there might be some of that old wood might have a, some honeybees nest in it or something i don't know if we see another one i'll have to sort through it and find out because we're not going to kill them honeybees is real important <coughs> yeah we need them they say they're getting distinct and we need them honeybees you don't see them as much as you used to i remember when you was kids could, i'd raise them you know i thought about trying to do that i'm scared but of i ain't getting got stung. <laughs> you know why he is i'm not mama. i'm not scared of getting stung on them because when i was a kid i used to hang around this old man and he had a, a smoker and a, an outfit thing he put on. And he said, boy, you wait in the truck. And he, I'd sit in the truck and he'd do his thing, you know. And uh, But I ain't really scared of him, to tell you the truth. Well, well David's mama <laughs> always wanted me to go somewhere in West Virginia or somewhere. Let them sting me with some bees. She thought that might heal me. And I said, well, I don't know what would be worse, having an RA or getting stung by a bunch well, of bees. Some of them old re remedies from the olden days. I was are, just scared to do it. Well, maybe that you could get knocked she out first or something and then let you get you stung. Yeah, let them knock me out and then sting me with a bunch of bees and hope you ain't allergic. If it, if you know for sure it would heal you, I'd, you'd, do, it. I'd do it wide awake. I'd do it because I'd love to find a reason to get rid of the, uh, find a way to get rid of RA. It would just be a miracle. Well, I'm going to put them in the oven. Well, you've had a rough time this week. and Yes, I have. And they messed up your prescription. And so you end up having to go a couple of days without any any medicines. Hey, and, how uh, many days was it? <laughs> it's probably three or four, wasn't it? It was three, counting the weekend. Four. And I called, but their phone lines were being redone or something. It's doing away with something and in the midst of all that. So I went down there and got, I went to the office and got results, but I had to make that trip, you yeah, know. And yeah, that trip, yeah. All right, so that's so all you did. We'll be back in a few minutes. We'll put them in the oven and let them bake. So that's all you're going to do at the moment is, that, you know, anybody yeah. can make these, even I could. You know, and it don't take those mushrooms very long to bake, believe it or not. It really don't. They turn out real well. How long are you going to bake them? Till they're done. I'll tell you when I take them out because these bigger ones, I don't know. So there's no time on that? You just check? Well, there is, but I'll check and then I'll keep up with it. All right. Okay. All right. We'll see you in a few. Okay, it's been about 18 minutes, so let's check them. Woo! Woody, they look good. It looks like the, the critters is liking them too already. They're smelling food, aren't they? I think they're done. What's the matter? They smell food. I open the door and they all come running. This one right here come in the house and use the litter box. I'm like, now who does that? Well, they're getting to be sophisticated. They ain't going to go outside no more. Look at the juices, David. They're at bacon. Well, I will say it does smell good. <laughs> a little juicy, but that's okay. Let's see if I can get in there a little better with it here. Let me get them leveled up here a little bit, David. There you go. Well, they do smell Let good Let some now. of these get some of that juice. So it's about 18 minutes. And it's going to depend on the size of your mushrooms. And I had a couple that was rather big, but they shriek a little bit. Don't those look delicious? Yeah. I just hope they don't have that old weird cheese that didn't do nothing to them. Did it melt? Huh? Did it? It melted, but it just didn't want to make sure it turned out to be. So you can't do anything with it. But it, don't, it looks like it might be okay. Well... We're going to let you eat one just to see if you're going to be happy, okay? How about that? Can you do that? Mm-hmm. And then I'll fix you a plate. How about that? Okay. Nope. You got to give Mommy time. I only got two. Two feet. Huh? I only got two. I don't know if this thing's recording or not. I guess it is. I don't know. 
I'm going to break out the old Super 8 movie projector. Use it. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't put as much mozzarella. But I love mozzarella cheese. I don't know. You're cheese. scaring me. I don't like that old cheese you got. I don't know if that's is it or not. But No, it's got a lot of mozzarella. That's why oh, it's Oh, no. Greedy. It's going to be all nasty. I can tell already. No, it ain't. David, it is not. Doggone it. Here, take a big bite and see what you think. Everything's just coming out of it. It's still got to let it cool a little bit and it'll set together. Well. Well, the mushroom part tastes good, but I don't know about that cheese. What's wrong with the cheese? I just I can't chew it bit. up. It's like a mouthful of rubber bands. No, it ain't. The mouth like that and you can't chew it up. I don't believe it. It's like chewing super bubble gum. Well, here's another one to chew. I'll have to Get swallow you it. Get your nerve bite and see what you think. I'm going to throw that cheese in the trash. I like eating it. It tastes good. Yeah, but it ain't no good on this. Look, they're begging, buddy. They want some food. It tastes real good, but the cheese is slightly different from the first time. I think it's because you use some of that old weird cheese. Well, just shut up and eat it. How about but that? if I recommend... If you cook it, don't use weird cheese. Use a good name brand. Right, name brand. Mommy fixed y'all some too, don't worry, okay? I fixed y'all some chicken. They all over you. I know, I heated well, them up. Well, don't trip and fall. I heated them up some too. They get mad at me. They don't want the chicken without the skin. And I try to keep them a little healthier. I mean, it's good. <laughs> it's It's good. You know, it's just, I don't know. I wish you, you wouldn't. complain now. You well, can't take it back. If you wouldn't have said nothing about using that weird cheese, you didn't, you asked I wouldn't have probably known the difference. I could have sworn that you asked but, me, didn't you? Hmm? Didn't you? It's like kids, if you're going to give them medicine, you're going to mix it in some cookies. Are don't say nothing about it. Are you going to eat it or are you going to complain all night? I'm going to eat it. I'm starved. <laughs> How many of them you want on your plate, Mr. Piggy? Uh, a couple, I'm a guess. How about three? I'll give you the extra large one so you can complain even harder. We just heard on the news that uh, some fella got a liver transplant from a hog. Yeah, wasn't that something? Yeah, that is something. And I want to thank... Um, oh, yeah. Now I can't remember her name, but her uh, Tinsley and Chris, and they made me a birthday card. Yeah, it's really nice. That's... My birthday's in May a couple of days before. Here, take it off of there so you can show it to them. A couple of days before Sadie's. <clears throat> and uh, and, there, and she told me in a note that, they're, that she, uh, they're always asking me if Brenda's all right. Isn't that sweet? Yeah, host him, so. I love you, Brenda. Stay happy. And that's good work, too. Someone does really yeah. nice. Done a really good job. I love it. That, I love this kind of stuff. I know. I'll it's tell sweet. you another one. Miss Natty sent it's me a like birthday having, card. It's like having grandkids again or something. See if she recognizes this one. My hands are greasy. I hate to be handling that. Happy birthday. Oh, yeah. Don't worry. Be happy. She puts a lot of time into this stuff, and I she know. makes the cards, too. And, and the kids that made that one to spend a lot of time on that one, too. And don't get me wrong. I like all the cards that oh, people yeah. send me. This, these are just special. They're homemade like and, that. And they are from Tennessee. From Tennessee? Yeah. Natty's from Indiana, isn't she? Uh, you know, I can't remember. Uh, and I had her right name right the... in my head, and now... Oh, I'm going to break that. Look, everything's the same color, David. I should have put something on top of there, but, well, we got some greens. That ain't the same color. <laughs> oh, you got some greens? Good. Well, I've been craving some greens. Are we going to plant some greens this year? Yes, we're planting some greens this year, and we're going to can some mixed greens. Meow. Give them some greens. Mommy's got something for y'all. Just hold on to your taters, okay? Just hold on to your taters. Mm -hmm. These are those seasoned greens, and I love them, but they would go so kids with vinegar, but I don't. Mm -mm. Not always. Here you go, kids. Here, nipper. Hey. He said, if you don't want it, I do. There you go. Who's going to get it first? Here's Spaz. Here. Somebody All better right. get it. 
All right, well, y'all, I hope you'll give my mushrooms a try. They're so good. Yeah, they're good. I like them, too. All right. Well, thank everybody for the cards. That's, that's really nice. That's right. The extremely cards nice. And the letters. I appreciate it. Brenda was so happy when she got them out of the box, and <laughs> she's just as happy as can be. And I still got cards that's, you know, from where my niece that's older now, you know, she just had a baby. Yeah. From when oh, she made so sweet. When it's she so was, sweet. you know, like in kindergarten and stuff. Ain't that something how I say that? We went to see yeah. the baby, and he just snuggled to me, you know. And hey, I got so a picture sweet. of that. I'll put that on. How about that? Okay. I just thought of that. I got what you doing, Brenda? Feeding the baby. <laughs> <laughs> How about that? I just thought of that and I got a picture of that. We'll put a... He is the sweetest little thing. I know. I hope we get to keep him some. His daddy was changing him. He said, um, well, he needed the diaper. And his daddy said, well, I ain't never done it. And I said, well, there's the first time. He said, I'll take all the tips I can get. I said, okay. He used to have to pack a wife before he got the job done, but hey, they'll supply plenty. <laughs> well, well, uh, he done after a good job. he was, I watched him when he, when he picked him up, and he was like he was scared, and then you showed him how to hold him or something. Then after that, it wasn't just wasn't too bad, and I and I was scared to hold him, but then no, I, I had him by his neck and his arms and stuff, and I said, I said, look here, y'all. <laughs> he said. I'm scared to hold him like that. And I said, I'm just showing you that they're not, they're, he's not going to break this by holding him. And, and I said, you just get him in a comfortable position for you and him. And if he's not crying, he's happy. But you know, he was just looking at you and just looking and looking. He and looking and, and he's only a day old and he just kept looking <laughs> and looking. So it, it kind of reminded me of the story about the parrot. Maybe he was too scared to cry or something. Well, baby, that's terrible. <laughs> no, I'm now, just kidding. Now, why would he have been too scared to now, cry? No, I'm just kidding, honey. I'm just joking. No, he was. He just kept looking at you and smiling and everything. So well, that, his mommy wasn't able to hold him too good yet because whenever they ended up having to do a C-section. And when you do that, sometimes gas escapes. And it got up here in her arm, and it was hurting her so bad. That poor girl had a hard time. She was in the hospital for three days, wasn't it? Or four. Three or four. You know, and they took her in and induced and still couldn't make the baby. And, no, didn't want to come still yet. And, so. and they kept on and on and on and on. They finally done a C-section. But she went through a, she went so through a lot. Sweet. I, I and that, love him. <laughs> and the baby had that big old knot on his head. And he's got the know, simplest but, name, Sonny. Sonny. Yeah. Well, maybe I'll put that picture of him on there. Uh, so that's neat. Maybe yes, he's a cute little thing. Maybe baby. we'll live long enough where we can join some. You I know? told his dad. He said, "I don't know how to clean him." I said, "He's a boy. Just think, he's a boy. What would you do to clean you? You do the same thing to him. He's got crevices. Clean them all." <laughs> Wouldn't that be something if we can get him and and, and maybe uh, have him some and, and let him help you cook on the show? But he was grunting. And so stuff. we'd have to it'd be about five or six years from now if we're still alive. Maybe he can come in like Sadie did when she was little. I miss Sadie so much. I do too. I miss her a lot, yeah. Well, anyway. Anyhow, y'all, I hope you'll give my mushrooms a try. They're delicious. And if there's a cheese you don't like, don't put it. Just get a, a quality brand. Don't get this big old giant block David, for $2. It was $5 and something. I said, well, dang, on that cheese, that's a lot of, of white cheddar for, it was around $6. If it, if it sounds... Now we know why it doesn't melt in macaroni. If it sounds like it's too good to be true, it probably is not You're too right, true. it didn't do good, did it? So, and if it's if it seems like a good deal, there's got to be a reason for it. <laughs> I don't know. I don't really taste think it tastes as good cooked or uncooked. To be honest, I mean it's all right uncooked, but cooked it's horrible. I just hope you didn't put a whole lot of it in there. I didn't. Okay. Anyway, it's good. I I give it a try. Just use better quality cheddar. <laughs> okay, y'all. We'll see you next time. Thank you for all the prayers. And I got this one thing of my mama's, and I get it and smell it, and then I have to ball. I just yeah, I know you did that can't last deal night. Deal with it every time. I've done it two or three times today, and I'm like, I just got to put it somewhere where it's not there every time well, I walk past it. Put it know, up where... somewhere, honey. I mean, we're gonna go up there and put flowers on the grave at Easter. So. Yes. You know, that's going to be hard, but we'll just do what we can. It'll be very hard. Yeah. All right. Okay, y'all. We'll see you next time. And y'all enjoy your evening. Make my mushrooms and let me know what you think. Bye.
And we love you guys. And thanks to all the new subscribers. There's usually a lot. I gotta get my. I can't get on my computer, but I'll get it figured out. If not, I'll get on his. Yeah, your computer's boogered up or something other, and and um, I don't know why you don't go to the other one for some reason. You don't do that no more. Because when I try to type, it all goes to sleep. <laughs> it oh, hurts. Okay, because it's on that old wooden desk. Yeah. Yeah. I'll get it figured out. Just change the password. I'll get it, but I'll be answering some comments and stuff. Well, there's some. It's an old. It's an old laptop that someone threw away, and we took it and had it had it tuned in. Had Windows and, 10 put on it. And so and so she mm -hmm. she likes it. It's a, and it's just an old antique thing, and it's heavy as can be. And but she likes it, and she sits on the couch with her fancy footstool, and she and she. But but now we can't get it to come I back on. Get me a lighter so one and yeah, get me a lighter well, it's got a. Something's wrong with it. It's got this big old line that runs right down the middle of the screen. I don't know how that, that would. That big old fat cat of mine got on it, and I can't get it off. It's not the split screen, but it looks like it. Well, I, that would drive me nuts trying to use that, but I I can't fix it, and you can't. can't I don't you know, overlook so. it. I can still use it. Yeah. Well, I'd like to get me a lighter weight one and get leaven put on it. <laughs> Yeah, I think they said that thing was for like from the early 2000s or something. You no, know, man, it still works good. Yeah, it still works good. Ain't nothing wrong with it as long as it works. But got right now it's not working. I bought a new battery and it works fine. Yeah, but it's got something to do with your, you've done goofed up the passwords on if it or I something. If I get me a lighter weight one, I don't never sign in on it. I don't have to. I if was get trying me a lighter weight one and babies gets on it, it'll just crush it. Sure, if, if you get a light one, babies will get on it. and She's and that, a fat and, girl. And it'll break it in half. That thing probably weighs 100 pounds, that old cat. I have to put food in two or three. How much does she weigh now? I'm not going to say, but I'm going to say. No, how much does she weigh? I'm going to say about 20 or 22 pounds. I'd say it's more than 25, I'll be honest. <laughs> yeah. All right. Let me get off you here. You still hot them for supper? For these okay. things, they go go rabid on you. She likes potato chips and french fries and stuff. And spaz. He likes chicken and stuff. And baby, she likes confectionery sugar in her food. And that's it. Dry cat food and confectionery <laughs> sugar. Dry cat food. And she'll lick the juice off the wet cat food. But she won't eat the food either. But... I don't know how she gets so big because she don't get sugar, but just because ever. Because I got food in the living room for her, but she'll come in the hallway and in the back room and in the kitchen, anywhere else I put food, she'll eat it and save hers. Well, don't put food everywhere. I have to because she bought it from the other two eat. She's mean tail. She's bullied, yeah. She is definitely a bully. All right. Hang on, them fingers so good. Too. We may just have to start anyway, a whole new. Said bye a couple times, we'll talk we'll about have we'll to start a whole new show, time. show about cats or something. Okay, y'all, we'll see you next time. Bye. <laughs>